In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a PDF file uh, containing all your pictures uh, for, for maybe a homework assignment or for a test um, uh, that we're, you're going to upload into more. Now, I'm going to caution you, some people may, uh, may ignore this and they try to do their own thing using a scanner or doing whatever method they have and it may work, um, but sometimes it doesn't and it usually doesn't work at the worst of times. Maybe it's the final exam when you have a 30 minute time limit to upload your pictures and you are running out of time because you haven't done it this way and you, you aren't practiced and you're not going to make the time limit. So I'm going to highly recommend do this method, practice this method because it works every time. And the reason why people run into issues is because more only accepts a 10 megabyte file. So um, if you scan it with a scanner or other methods, sometimes um, very often they create too large of files to upload or they downgrade the image so much that I can't read it and create it. So please heed the warning, do this method, even if you have other ways of doing making PDF files. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it very simply. We're going to upload, we're going to make the assumption you've already taken pictures of your work, maybe with your cell phone, whatever. We want high resolution photos. Do not downgrade them. Do not, do not say, I want the small size, medium size. No, no, no. We want the full size photo. We need that resolution because I'm grading math. I need to be able to see the detail. So you're going to take those. You're going to email them to yourself, get them to your computer some way, shape or form. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Maricopa email. And it doesn't have to be a Maricopa email. What we really need is Google Docs. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to Google Docs, not Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word does not do this as well. Um, it makes too, too big of files. Google Docs does it perfect every time. So I'm just going to go to a blank document. All right, now what I'm going to do here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open the location where I have those files downloaded. So there are my downloads. And watch this. I'm literally just going to drag my first file over and drop it on the page. Now look at this, it's beautiful. Now I want you to notice um, my work is not, this was me doing chicken scratch. I was I was um, just doing coding problems in the background. So please don't take this as an example of what your work should look like. But what I wanted to do is take an example of what your picture should look like. Notice it's centered in the picture. It's the whole picture takes up, the, the paper takes up the, almost the whole entire the entire picture. Um, it's not at an angle because angles are very hard to grade. It's up and down and the lighting is decent. The lighting is good. I can see everything. Now I did not use a flash. Do not use flashes. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do here, you'll notice maybe, maybe your picture is too big, just like that one. It didn't fit on the page. And so therefore we're going to have to shrink it down a little bit. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. But what I want you to do is try to make it as big as possible to fit on the page. Um, and that will be fine. Now, next trick, we're going to click to the right hand side. So the cursor is on the right hand side. We hit enter. Now I go get my next picture. And there it is. Okay, I'm going to shrink this one down just so it fits on the page. Good enough. I click to the right hand side, blinker, the little cursor is on the right hand side. I'm going to hit enter. Now, and you just keep doing this until you have all of your pictures on here. Now, the one thing I will caution you is be careful of using a flash. I purposely took a picture with a flash so you could see what happened. This is the same as that first picture. This is the same as this one. Notice here, let's see if you can see it. I can still see the M. I can still see the M squared. It is faint. It almost looks like I erased it. But when you use a flash, it's nearly invisible. Okay. Um, flash is really hard to read and it makes hot spots on pages. So it's very difficult to be able to see um, um, some of your detail and, and like just middle parts go away. So when you take your pictures, bright lights, do them in a bright, well-lit room, um, but do not use a flash on your, your phone or just after you're done, verify that you can read everything, right? Look at the pictures you're putting in here and make sure everything is, is able to be read. Now, this is done. We have all of our pictures uploaded, right? You just keep doing this. You hit enter and um, 
I would just keep drag grabbing more and more pictures, however many pictures you had for that assignment, and you just simply drag it up to resize it, get it to fill in the page, click to the right, hit enter, and I do the next one. So you can see how a 30 minute time limit to do this when you're doing it this way, as long as you take pictures and upload them to yourself, can very easily be done even with 20 pages of work, although it'll never take 20 pages. Um, can be done very rapidly now okay i've got however many pictures i have here right one two three four five six seven seven all right seven pages that's pretty good now how do we turn this into a pdf we go up to the left hand corner we say file then we're going to go down to i think we can do download yes and then pdf document now this is the most important step Okay, I'm going to call this, um, maybe we're going to call it um, homework 2-1, uh, 2.1, okay. We use dashes, not points. Systems tend not to like dot points. Here's the most important part. We're going to go into more. Okay, whoops, we're going to go back into more, which is right here. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go into maybe our 2.1 homework assignment. I'll go down through the correct way of navigating, not through the calendar. I'll go down here. We're going to go into the 2.1 section. We're going to go into the homework assignment itself. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go to 2.1. I'm going to go to that very last problem where I'm uploading my extra my homework. Choose file. And this should now be in my downloads. There it is. I say open. I say submit. And we are submitted now. Here's the most important step. The little plus button right next to this, you need to click it and you need to look through to verify all of your pages are here. All of your pages are in order. Everything is, is vertical. Everything is taking up as much as the page as possible. Because remember, I have to grade this or your professor has to grade this. So we need you to absolutely um, make sure that, um, this is done well, okay? And it's legible and it's it's able to be viewed easily. So let's say it's not. Notice more only allows you to upload one file. So if I were to do choose file and I were to pick something else, the other one goes away, okay? So this is why it's important that all of your photos are a single PDF file, okay? And, <clears throat> excuse me, and that they've uploaded correctly. Now you can you can sit here and upload ninety whatever amount of times, right? You're just gonna you're gonna say choose your file. Um, oh, excuse me. I've used my three attempts. It does it does behave the same way where you get three attempts. So let's say you've done this not, you know however many times and you're now can no longer hit submit and you're like oh no it's still not working. Get a similar question and just start over, right? So now we can go in here and we can again pick the file, hit submit and wait for it to upload and there it is it's ready to go now because the one thing i will caution you it's a very common issue with the google docs doing the pdfs this way when you do this and if you drag your photos in very quickly because some of you are very proficient at this type of stuff it hasn't finished uploading to the cloud your, your picture may be very large and it just hasn't finished uploading so you'll notice you don't get all of your pictures sometimes you'll you know out of your seven you get five so all you need to do is go right back to here just do file download pdf just do it again um and it will work the second time just because the pictures have finished downloading or uploading to the uh to the cloud um and then you do not need to save this in this format if you don't choose to i would highly recommend it i mean it's great to cre keep, keep a digital catalog of your work because if anything were to happen you'd always have this to reference so you could easily create this as a 2-1 you know uh, mat 212 2.1 homework and then throw it in a folder you know you could you could absolutely categorize this stuff it's very very helpful to do that um but I hope this helps. I hope this helps you realize how easy it is to create a PDF file with tons and tons of pictures. The hardest part is literally just taking pictures with your phone and emailing them to yourself. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask.